I don't know. I I don't really care that much. I know it got postponed a few times. If it didn't happen at all, it wouldn't really bother me that much. I just came here because I don't know why not. Yeah. So what what, what is your uh, what is your take on 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 the way the cards were dealt this time around? Just like with the whole situation mm -hmm. graduating? Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't. I'm not a particularly sentimental person, so it doesn't really affect me. A whole lot. I guess it kind of is unfortunate that like you don't get the opportunity. I know there are some people who do care about it, but for me, I don't know. I just I just pretty much deal with it however it happened. Mm -hmm. What uh, what what's your goal beyond beyond graduation? Um. Well, I'm going to um, Iowa State University. Um, hopefully, get a degree in mechanical engineering, and I'd like to get a job. Hopefully, working in some field of robotics. I think. Well, congratulations. This is my puppy Daisy. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> This is here for the for the celebration as well. Yeah, she tell is. Me, tell me, what, what what do you think about what's going on? Um, I think it's kind of a bit chaotic, but you know, doing what we can do in this time is what matters the most. So, it's it's nice to be able to he be here and see everybody. What what are you, what are you going to do with yourself after graduation? Um, planning on going to Hawkeye to get my general education and then go to Iowa State and become a middle school math teacher. It's a really worthwhile goal. <laughs> now I want you to put your um, put your um, teaching hat for now for the purposes of of this example, and just tell me um, what would you if you were in the position of being a teacher and something like this was happening to your students, how would you counsel them? What would you say to them? I would just tell them that you know even though everything that's going on is happening, that it's okay and it's not the end of the world. Like there's so much stuff that can still happen, and you've got so much life left to live so it's not that big of a deal mm. now uh, is that how you feel now as, as, as being a part of this process yourself um or is, is it different when you change the roles i think it's pretty much the same for me i'm gabby berman i'm Haley shaw and you are both graduating yep okay so tell me what do you think about what's going on? And you need to speak a little bit louder because there's a lot of ambient noise and I'm trying to stay six feet away from you. Um, I think it's pretty weird, but it's not going to like affect like how we feel about graduating, I guess. Right. I don't think. Yeah, I'm same with her. Like, It's weird and kind of disappointing, but then we get to do stuff like this that's different and fun. So, got to see the bright side. <laughs> definitely makes our senior year unique like different than others and I think that's what I like the most about it mm -hmm. what, what are you guys doing after graduation um, I'm moving to Virginia to go to community college out there and live with my father I'm going to Grandview University in Des Moines to play soccer and study nursing Check. about this um, Tyler thankfully you shaved your stash we we're doing the baccalaureate testing and testing I'm really excited Testing. to do it. Chase, there was actually Chase, a way good now. show out for what I thought Testing. it was going to be. And I'm just like Testing. super excited Testing. what's going on. There's going to be a yeah, parade. The There's going to be a non-denominational service Testing. going on. And But yeah. What, what are you going to do after graduation? Right. Um, I'm going to go to Warburg. The original Mike Checker. What are you going to do, Tyler? I'm going to Warburg. Okay, what are you going to be graduating in or studying? Um, I'm going to study uh, sociology. Wonderful. That's a great, a great, great opportunity to learn about sociology. Oh, yeah. Yes. In a very unique way, right? Yep. Okay. And tell me, uh, what do you think about the unusual year we've had? Um, it really sucks not being able to have that graduation experience in the last days with your friends in high school. But at the same time, it's a unique opportunity to understand like stuff that gets thrown your way won't be fair at times. You got to get used to it. And I feel like our grades made the most of what we've got. Are, are, are you friends trying to say something to be a part no. of this? No? You know, okay, thanks guys. Thanks for the You're the only person that has a kind of a lounge chair. Uh, yeah, I live across the street, so I figured cool. that I'd have a privilege here. Yeah. Tell me who you are. Uh, my name is Elijah Kaler. And you're graduating? Yes, I'm graduating this year. What are your thoughts on this graduation? Um, well, it's, it's not really the traditional graduation, but I feel that we're going to be able to uh, tell our kids one day, it's like, oh yeah, I got to do this, and we're going to be able to make a positive out of the 
what's happening to us this year with the coronavirus. So I, I feel that even though we're not getting a, a proper send off, um, I feel that it's okay because we get something special.